All right, guys. I know I said the last video was the last one, but I wanted to show you guys my uh, place one more time. You know, just just as is. Um, that's the shed. That sign was originally yellow, but I'll put that up because the poopers in here. Anyway, um, let's step inside and see what you can see. Uh, a shift shower, of course, full of crap. Um, that's my generator down underneath this. That's the Mrs. P bucket. Um, coolers, my super pooper storage with paper things in it. Uh, chairs, more water. There's another wire one over there. Um, Tent stakes, tie downs, all that good stuff. Dry paper to start fires. Uh, cookware. A uh, couple different saws. Mirror. Ow! I hit the top of my head. Forgot the duck. Anyway. Burn all pit. Cooking pit, which is still set up. Firewood, the uh, hammock, which I still haven't taken down yet, but there it is. I am not sleeping in it tonight. Anyway, uh, cabin, picnic table, American flag, porch, truck, driveway. <laughs> anyway, I'll give you guys a full 360 here. Okay, now it's about... Oh, hold on, let me check. It. Oh, it's after 6. But... That's our thermometer. And it's sitting... Sitting about 45 degrees. So, temperature's dropping quick. This is a porch. Do a quick walk around the cabin. <laughs> Check that out. <laughs> the guy who owned the property before us uh, used to go through the woods and carve those. And believe me, it'll freak you out when you're out there. It's like 5.30 in the morning. You're with a flashlight. You're trying to find your deer blind or find a spot to hunt. And you come across one of those. I mean, I don't know why. But he went through and carved a whole bunch of those. Anyway. This is the west side. West side! No, I'm kidding. I might have had a few beers. Uh, we got bird feeders. Oh, yeah. Show you in the cabin. Like I said, my cabin is all made out of cedar. I'm going to walk out here. By the big black behemoth. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I want to get out of the sun so that you guys can actually see the front view. I mean, it's a beautiful place. Completely surrounded by the Huron National Forest. And again, I'll, I'm taking you guys inside. Because there's actually something I want to talk about. Uh, nice screen door. Check this out. We put this up so that I can lock it up there. You just pull it. <laughs> Works great for uh, when you're moving everything in or out. Well, this is the cabin, and I showed you it with baby girl, but top bunk, bottom bunk, 
Mr. Heater fold out couch with all my gear spread um, everywhere. Mrs. isn't here to keep me in line. Uh, window with my vacation hat. Front door, uh, coat racks, bread box, more storage cabinets, kitchen nook, uh, another cabinet with everything on top. Another cabinet. I actually found that out in the woods. Okay. I don't know if it's old ammo crate or whatnot. It's got these nylon handles on the bottom. But. Food, first aid, uh, dental hygiene, deodorant, peroxide, my teas. Yes, I like tea. Um, beans, I mean, instant coffee, sugar substitutes, allergy relief, Tylenol PMs. Over here, this is where we keep our liquors and cooking utensils and matches. This is a post-it board because I'm not the only one who uses this cabin. My uh, little sister, my hunting buddy, uh, you might as well call him my brother, Ken. Uh, we can leave notes for one another up here and go from there. A little table. I got potatoes on the seat, but whatever. That's empty. That was from Baby Girl. Instant formula. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, pull out futon mattress, which I probably won't use tonight. I'll probably sleep on the couch. Gun rack with uh, miscellaneous gun care objects that the missus and Ken and everyone else brings up. Wood burning stove, which is actually about to get out of here. Another buddy heater, more storage, uh, more storage underneath. <laughs> but yeah, it's not very big. I want to say it's uh, all 14 by 10, and that's it. That's all the bigger this cabin is. Now, the thing I want to bring to your attention is me and the missus. I want to call it an argument or anything, but a uh, heated discussion. She says using my cabin is camping. Now, I personally disagree. Me camping is setting up the hammock, putting up a tent, and then coming up here, you know, and doing whatever. She goes, well, only difference between your tent and the cabin is the cabin's already here. And we got more storage. Because there is no running water. <clears throat> There is no electric. There is no heat unless you bring up your own propane. Which, those buddy heaters are safe to use in tents. Which she brought up. I was like, okay. Okay. I says, but a tent's not insulated. She goes, okay, I'll give you that one. Uh... To me, camping is setting up a tent in the middle of the woods or even at a, a rugged campsite, let's say. Where there's no power, there's no heat, there's no nothing. And of course she goes, well, that's here. Except you don't have to set up a tent. <sighs> in other words, she's trying to get me to hook up propane, um into the cabin with a heater and to a propane stove and then according to her that would be glamping even though there's no running water there's no electricity to her that would be wow according to her that would be called glamping <sighs> I don't know now, granted, we have no amenities in that cabin. There's no running water. There's no electric. There's no heat unless you bring the propane up. Um, yeah, what do you guys think? You think a cabin 
even though it has nothing, like no running water, no electric, no nothing, having a cabin in the woods, is that glamping or is that easy? Let's call it easy camping. Now, I could, I can kind of see that. Because we still split our wood. We do all of our cooking out on an open fire. Now, I do have a propane stove in there in case of emergencies, but as long as it's not monsooning out, I'm out here cooking, or she is. I don't know. You know, that's, uh, that's a good question. What's glamping? What's camping? What's bushcraft? What's not? To me, survival, survival is survival. You're lost, you're out there, you have nothing with you other than what's on you, and that's what you got. To me, that's survival. Um, I got lost in these woods when I was a kid uh, for the better part of three weeks. I wouldn't say I was a kid, but um, that was survival. That was not fun. You were not comfortable, but you were alive. To me, that's survival. Bushcraft, camping, that can, depending on how you use your camping skills and whatnot, that can enhance your survival skills, okay? Uh, because it forces you to practice them, you know, your knots, your woods, your, what, uh, vegetation, what you can eat, what you can't. Um, to me, that's what camping and bushcraft is all about. It's all about putting your survival skills, well, not putting them to the test, but learning them, you know, uh. Let's say camping is like your grade school, bushcraft is like your high school, and then when you're actually forced to go out and survive, that would be your college. Um, and like I said, unfortunately I've been there, and it's not fun. It's hard, it's cold, it just all the way around sucks. So I would much rather... Um, if I could, every time I went off in the woods, I'd take my full pack with me, um, just in case, but I don't, um, <clears throat> you know, I really like to see what your guys' idea is on that, uh, like I said, it didn't start an argument or nothing, but it was a, it was actually a really good, really in-depth conversation me and the missus had. Because she considered the cabin being here. Granted, it's a cabin. It's insulated the whole nine yards. But it has no power. It has no running water. It has no self-sustained heat. It has nothing. It's uh, insulated four walls and roof. As she put it. Uh, same way you heat that cabin, you could actually heat your tent. She's right about that. Um... Am I wrong? Am I right? I don't know. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know. Keep your knife sharp. Keep your fingers out of the way. I'm actually going to go into the cabin. It's pushing 7.30. Yeah. Pushing 7.30. I'm going to go move everything into the cabin. Get the heater going. Because now it's it's getting chilly. <laughs> and um, I'll probably go drive down the road a bit and give the missus a call before I have any more beer. <laughs> anyway, no, I probably won't. I'm not going to lie. I've had a few beers. I shouldn't drive. So, but... I'm going to move everything in the cabin and get ready and shut it down. So, keep your knife sharp, keep your fingers out of the way. Later, guys.